Hey guys, so uh, a lot of times people ask me what I actually do when I'm not shooting or if I'm not teaching a class or something. Um, but one thing that I actually do, and a lot of times people are unaware that I, I do this as much as I actually am out there and involved with it, is there's a lot of volunteer things that I do. So it might be uh, working as a safety officer for a shooting thing. It might be helping uh, teach hunter safety, something like that. Um, but another thing is I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one training and, uh, for the one-on-one -on -one trainings this week in particular, it's ranged from a, a huge, you know, broad span of what I've actually been venturing into. So one of them, I actually met with a family and they had three little girls and I went to their home and we spoke about firearms and what to do if one of the kids were to find a gun, whether it was at their house, a friend's house and how to go about doing that for their own safety. Um, but also I worked with the, the adults to teach them more about their firearm, the, the specific one that they purchased. So they would feel more comfortable with it, how to lock it up, the difference between staging and storing a firearm, things like that. Now, um, outside of that class, I did a one-on-one -on -one training class with someone who bought their very first gun and they just want to know everything they possibly could so they could be a responsible person in the community with that firearm. So we actually met, we covered everything of how to tear it apart, how to clean it, how to oil it, you know, everything like that, put it back together. And then we went out to the range and we learned how to actually shoot and we covered a little bit about drawing a firearm so that they don't need to spend any more money. They already own their tool, their, that tool of choice it was, was their own firearm. And then what they can do at their house so that during a time where there's an ammo shortage, they could actually build familiarity with that firearm and become confident. So when they do go to the range and shoot, they're not just wasting money blasting rounds off, but they could actually have that accountability because of the training that I give them. Um, some other people I've met with this week, we had people from out of state. It was uh, you know, a, a kid and his mom, they came all the way here from uh, Pennsylvania. And I know we live close to the border, but they don't need official training in Pennsylvania. So they came over and I met with them up at the club and we actually covered something and it was just a class. I brought a bunch of different firearms, different calibers, different size guns, and that way they could shoot a couple different things and see what they like, what they don't like, uh, how to be safe with that tool. And uh, again, since they don't need any formal training, it was a way for them to get in, involved with firearms in doing it as a responsible member of the community, not just another person who buys a gun, has no idea what they're doing, and thinks that they're John Wick out at a gun range. So um, a couple other people I met, they came from uh, out of our county and they came down here. They wanted to apply for other state permits. So we just did basically a one-on-one -on -one class with those guys so they could get an updated certificate. Um, you know, wash them, shoot, verify they do know how to handle the firearm in a safe manner. There are already people who have been carrying for years and uh, they just want to, you know, apply for a different state so they can increase the amount of reciprocity they have between other states. So it was fantastic. Um, I did other trainings as well, one-on-ones with people. So someone wanted to learn how to draw and how to engage a target with that first round. Uh, they could draw, but when they would actually end up shooting, they found out that they would end up throwing around. So we talked about how they were rushing maybe their shot instead of rushing their draw and figuring out a good balance so that they could be accountable for it. Because ultimately, if you shoot 100 rounds, but you never hit that intended threat, it did no good shooting 100 rounds off. Um, and, and in fact, you're held accountable for every round you do shoot. So if you miss 100 times of that intended target, what did you hit 100 times? Because you're held accountable for that. So we uh, figured out what would be a good time for him to draw out a firearm and then what a good time would be for him to get his first shot. In his time and my time, although they may differ, Ultimately, he is now held accountable for each time he pulls that trigger and he felt confident after that class. So when he does go out to the range, he can start speeding it up a little bit because he has that perfect foundation he's able to do. And again, I give him drills he can do at his house because he understands exactly how it's done now. So when he is out training, whether it's at his home, at a gun range, He's not just wasting money on ammo trying to figure it out at that time, but in fact, it's that perfect practice without any real ammo. So when he does start pulling the trigger, it's perfect. 
So that's what I've actually been doing. I know I haven't posted a lot of videos recently and that's one reason why I've been doing so much training with other people outside of my normal like realm of training, which is more or less a carry conceal class, advanced pistol training, one-on-ones is a big part of what I do day in, day out as well. Uh, but that's why I haven't been creating as many uh, YouTube videos right now as I've been real busy taking care of that. Now, other things that I have been doing during this time too is training for myself. So when I do a one-on-one -on -one training, it doesn't necessarily help me out as a shooter or anything. So what I do is I still try to find time in my daily uh, routine so I can get out to the range, I can shoot a couple rounds. So it's always uh, finding that good balance of that professional job and my, my daily lifestyle as a carry concealed holder and ensuring that I'm still properly trained and have you know the, the round count behind me so that when I am carrying a firearm, it's not, well, I shot it three months ago or you know I, I still remember how to do this. I get out there and still practice, whether it's dry run, live fire, it doesn't matter. I'm always uh, playing around with one of those firearms and making sure that I am uh, you know staying accountable for my own stuff too, not just teaching someone else how to do that. So uh, if you are interested in one-on-one -on -one trainings or you want to seek out additional training, even if it's not with me, there's so many other classes that are out there. Defense in home, defense out of home, one-on-one -on -one training, advanced pistol training, uh, pistol 101. There's so many different things, and that's just a, a list of a few of them. Um, I highly recommend you guys get out there, get involved with local groups and stuff like that and figure out what type of training might be the best thing for you to start venturing into so that you become a more responsible carry concealed holder, number one. But number two, you're gonna become a more confident shot simply because of the training that you do take with a, with a real instructor. So hey, thanks for jumping in. Hope you guys like this. If you have any feedback, make sure you do leave a comment down below. Click like on the page, or, you know, subscribe, uh, click the alert button, that way you're notified every time we do update things. Uh, now that it is getting warmer out, we should have a lot more live fire stuff. I know ammo is still hard to get, but uh, that doesn't mean I quit shooting uh, because ammo is hard to get. I might have to use a lower round count, but I'm still getting out there and shooting just as much and uh, running through dry training or utilizing my cert pistol so I can get the laser gun out there. So stay tuned for this summer and we should have some good content. Thanks for jumping in. Take care, guys.